Let's back to Club Manangle on Tuesday afternoon for a Big Ten event program. The first of five specials appears in race three with the lightly raced two-year-old filly in Peaceful. Uh, Peaceful was due from a spell with a very determined win at Penrith, defeating Maddie's Tiger on that particular occasion. She will derive a great deal of benefit from the outing and also the added experience. She's reasonably drawn, so I think Peaceful can take out the third event on the card. Moving over to race five, and if Peaceful runs a bold race as expected, well then Maddie's Tiger is former Kiwi, I think will be very hard to beat in the fifth. Uh, Maddie's Tiger fought on very gamely over the concluding stages, was far from disgraced. She's also on the improve, so Maddie's Tiger backing up from Peaceful in the third event, where those two particular runners can run bold races in their respective events. Now moving over to race six, and I'm going here with number four, the Iron Lady, as in the previous event, the Jason Grimson Cam Hart combination coming into play. Now the Iron Lady finished down the track in both her Oaks assignments during the Queensland Winter Carnival. It was a prior to heading north, she won at Penrith on two occasions by huge margins. I think back into a suitable race, the Iron Lady from a good draw will be very hard to beat. Moving over to race eight, and I was very impressed with the performance of a former Kiwi in a recent trial here at Menangle, Heavens on High, newcomer to the David Thorne stable. Jack Trainer took the reins in the particular trial last week. Now, Heaven on High could have won the trial comfortably had Jack Trainer sneezed, and I think the former Kiwi, the four-year-old, is definitely worth a gamble in race eight on the card. Well, moving over to race 10, I think the better bet on the card is unfazed, was going great guns before finish a well-beaten ninth to Defiant in the Group 3 Winter Championship a few weeks ago. And with the dropping grey back to a suitable assignment here, unfazed, I think it would be very hard to beat. As I said, I think he will be the best bet on the card as far as the club and angle meeting is concerned on Tuesday afternoon. So they're my five specials for the card. Until next time around, good putting.